Hey y'all, welcome back to another video. It's your girl Kiara, and as you can see from the title today, I'm gonna be showing you. I'm gonna be showing you how I do twist outs on my hair. And the last time that I did these twists, I've never done them so small. I always do them like kind of big, not super big, but kind of big. But I was like, you know, I want my hair to last a little longer, so I did them smaller. And y'all, my hair lasted for a good while. And if you know, you know, the less manipulation you do to your hair, the easier it is to like grow because you're not brushing it out and doing all that kind of stuff anyway so yeah i'm gonna be showing y'all how i do my small twist on my hair it's not a tutorial or anything but if you want to take anything from this and implement it into your twist out routine feel free so right now i'm about to wash this deep conditioner out of my hair i washed my hair yesterday and deep conditioned yesterday and it's just been sitting in here since then but today i'm like you know i can't i can't let this go on too long because bad habits bad habits but it is what it is so i'm about to wash this out on my hair i'm gonna show y'all so this is what it's looking like before i wash the deep conditioner out it is 800 percent dry because like i said i had it in since yesterday as you can see my roots yeah that's all i'm gonna say my roots and i'll be back in a second after i do that so deep conditioner is washed out so my part is still pretty much straight from the last time that i did this because when i washed my hair i just brushed it down this way i didn't do none of that so i'm gonna just leave my straight part to the back as is i'm gonna go ahead and show y'all the products that i'm using so if i need this spray bottle i'm gonna use it and then for my leave-in i have okra water i think no okra gel so my fiance sent me this on tiktok and it was this dude talking about okra gel and i was like okra gel so he showed you how to make it basically you get fresh okra you boil it for like 30 minutes and then you strain it and boom here we are this is what it looked like and you use this as a leave-in that's what he said he said use it as a leave-in and your hair is gonna flourish okay and then i have my eco because i need some hole i don't want them to come loose and then for my roots i have growth oil edge control edge brush and then my tangle teaser to detangle so i'm gonna go ahead and put my growth oil in and massage my scalp for a second So after I'm done with that, I'm going to go ahead and put in the okra gel. And it's very slimy, y'all. If you know okra, yeah, and it smells like okra, I don't mind it, honestly. But it's very like, oh. And what I did last time, I literally just... Because if I'm using it as a leave-in, I need it to be all over my hair. Brush it out just to fully detangle it. My hair was already detangled. And then I'm going to go back in with the okra gel. So after that, I'm going to just tie this up because I need to do the other side. So I'm going to go ahead and split it in half right now to make it easier. Okay, so all of the okra gel is in and my hair is really like silky. So I'm gonna go in with my rat tail comb and I'm gonna section off my first part that I'm gonna twist. Don't know if it's straight, I hope it's straight, but even if it's not, we just gonna roll with it. What I'm gonna do after that is get my eco because we need the hold, honey. I'm gonna just go ahead and put that all over the whole section, including my roots, because I do not want any frizzy roots. And then I'm gonna just put 
some on the length of my hair. So I'm gonna take a little small section, brush it out, and then I'm gonna twist. But these, I'm gonna do pretty small, not like super like micro, but I am doing them small to where I will have a lot. So this will take me a while. And then once I get kinda to the end of my hair, I'm gonna take a little bit more gel. Twist it all the way to the end, and then I'm gonna finger coil the end. It's a fly in here. I'm gonna go crazy. This is what the first twist looks like. Very lengthy. Oh, Y'all can't even see it so long. That's what I'm talking about, okay? But also, if you are new here, I don't even know if I told anybody on um, YouTube other than our couple's channel. But I am engaged. We are engaged. And we will be getting married soon. So, Mrs. Smith loading, okay? I'm going to look at wedding dresses tomorrow. By the time this video goes up, I'll have already looked at them. But I'm going to look at wedding dresses just to get an idea of like what I like in a dress and what I want in a dress. I've seen dresses that I like, but it's so many styles, so it's like hard to know exactly what I want. And I just feel like seeing some in person would be easier anyways for me. So yeah, I'm going to do that tomorrow. I'm excited. I'm really excited for the wedding. Like, I ain't gonna lie, we don't drink. Like, we probably not gonna drink at the wedding, but I feel like after, like we have, to get lit like we have to get lit it's only right we've been one but we really 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 finna be one so these are what the four back twists are looking like what is it giving for the back y'all obviously i can't see but i'm gonna assume that it look good so yeah like i said i'm just going to finish up pretty much the rest of it i'll let y'all watch some of it yeah let's get to it because it's gonna take me a little minute but the outcome is gonna be fine, so it don't even matter. Tell me what you see in me. Gotta be something different. You must be made for me. Patience is nothing. In and out, in and out, in and out. Arguing, trifling, difficult. Let go. I don't know. almost done with my hair this is the last part that I gotta do so I already have like some edges out so this is all that I have left I'm gonna go ahead and slap my gel on especially up here brushing it out I brought y'all in closer just so y'all can really get into it but this section here I'm gonna just split it in half it's already kind of small but and then since I split that, I'm going to just put a little more gel. I think this is just going to be one twist.
And just like that, we're done. All I gotta do is, what? How did I miss the whole twist? This is the last twist, for real, for real. Let me try. Wait. Well, I forgot a whole little section. I guess my curly hair and my twist look too much alike. This is what we look like right now. So my hair is all done. Let me zoom y'all out. I did edges and everything. The hairs on the top of my hair are the ones that be a little more stubborn, so I just get some extra and just try to let it down as much as possible. All right, so that is pretty much gonna be it for this video, but I think I'm gonna come back tomorrow when my hair is fully dry just so that I can give y'all the whole spiel on everything. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm just in a mirror, just the length, honey. But like I said, I think I'm gonna come back tomorrow and show y'all like the finished, finished product 100% dry because these are super cute and I know they're gonna be cute. Ugh. Rude. Yeah. One more time, this is the wet look, and I'm going to show y'all the dry look tomorrow, so I'll see you then.